crafty. I'm a bit melancholy, Bill. Oh, good, mate. <laughs> I, the, apparently, he's implying that there's a serious side to him. I'm yet to see it, but um, no, I have seen it. Tonight's the night, Bill. You made me cry a couple of times. We'll get Usually sit, I'm pissing myself laughing. Sit down there, I'm going to make you cry right, right now. Good, mate. Here's Prousty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, why, why I'm feeling a bit melancholy, um, a good friend of mine went to the doctor this week. He said he's got three weeks to live. And um, so I'm going to do this one. I, I wrote it many years ago. It's, it's two stories. The f parts about me and parts about my dad. So I put the two stories together. <clears throat> but this for me, mate, Shannon. <clears throat> I got a letter recently, the news, and it was bad. My mate Don's in hospital. It was cancer that he had. The memories, they came flooding back of days so long ago. But to me, they were like yesterday. Where, where they'd gone, I didn't know. That there was me and Don and Greg and Pete and Mud and Craig were there. The six of us went right through school and fights with us were rare. We were in the footy team. We played at cricket too. Though none of us was champions, there's nothing we wouldn't do. The pimples came and then the hair. And then we found the girls. We did a bit of drinking then, sometimes we even hurled. We, we all got jobs and we left school. We, we tried to find our way. But all through this day we were mates and that is how it stayed. Marriage came to most of us and I was first to go. Then Greg E went and so did Craig, the others followed so. But all through this, though, we were mates, the truest ever seen. Yeah, closer mates I did not think that there has ever been. It finally had to happen. Big Greg, he moved away. He took a job up in the north, the rest of us we stayed. Then Pete, he moved down to the south. He took his lovely wife. But we were mates, yeah, we were mates for life. We all got back together for a christening one day. It was as though that none of us had ever moved away. We joked about the odd grey hair and the spectacles Greg wore. The six of us, we laughed and joked, just like we did before. The years went by. The christening stopped. For our children, they grew up. There were the Christmas cards, of course, that would never stop. Then the kids began to marry, and it started off again. A table for the old blokes. We'd stay until the end. Our children knew the importance of this mateship that we had, and they never stopped to argue, and the old men, we went mad. Then the last child, she was married, and our meetings finally stopped, and we hadn't been together. Now this bad news that I caught, so I, I rang and wrote and chased around to muster up me mates and I told them that I'd meet them and that they should not be late. Then I waited at the hospital and I waited with a frown. And one by one, the old grey men, they didn't let me down. The years had changed yet again, but none of us we cared. We'd come to see our good mate Don, to see how he had fared. Our mood was very quiet till we saw it muttered bought, a stack of beer like any youth, it was a bonza thought. So up we went to our mate's room and as we all filed in, I could see the life return to Donnie's face so thin. We locked the door and in Don's hand mud placed a can of beer. Then Pete, he told us all a joke and we laughed so all could hear. We really did all those silly things we did when we were young and we drank the beer with our mate Don for that is why we come. Then the nurses said that it was time for us to go away, but Don, he said he wanted all his mates to stay. <laughs> all afternoon and half the night, we laughed and joked and drank. Then when Craig said it's time to go, Don's old frail heart had sank. He begged us all to stay a bit, just, just half an hour more. So Greg lit up a cigarette and relocked on his door. Finally, the time had come to say our last goodbye. We said that we would keep in touch, that we knew it was a lie. And one by one, I shook their hands 
And a thought came to me then. That this was it. My lifelong mates. We'd never meet again. Now all my mates are dead and gone. And I'm not far behind. A better life than mine, you know, would be real hard to find. One thing I've learnt through all these years of times of good and strife, that friends may come and friends may go, but mates are mates for life. We got it again. <laughs> God. Proustly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Prowsey. We'll take a little break and uh, we'll be back. Uh, Michael Sparrow's here. Going to rock the place in a moment. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back real shortly. Don't go away.